better late than never when it comes to returning library books. Well, we think so. New Yorkers can now breathe a sigh of relief, even if the book is overdue by decades. CBS 2's Jessica Moore went to the Midtown branch to see what's behind the elimination of library fines. A successful college career, learning how to fly, study skills, um, something about lobster farming in Maine. I'm not seeing barcodes, I'm seeing... Yeah, that's exactly. These system. books were all due before the internet existed, so this particular <laughs> one was due in 1976. Branch manager Billy Parrott sorts through a stack of long-lost books borrowed from the New York Public Library that have finally come home. Due date, 1959. Wow. This is one that just came in, again, 1976. Wow. I often tempted to see what was happening that day, if there's something that prevented somebody. Yeah. There was something, oh, there was, you know, Some news giants online. won the pennant. Some are returned with a note of apology, like this one, tucked inside a book about how to have a successful marriage. Funny thing is, he didn't support his efforts with his first <laughs> and only marriage. It failed. No wonder he hit the books. So Last fall, the library launched a radical new policy. No more late fees on any book, no matter how long ago it was due. Think of the Seinfeld episode too. I returned that book. I remember it very specifically. People love libraries, but when you, um, when there's late books, they feel guilty. Since last fall, more than 21,000 overdue or lost items have been returned in Manhattan, Staten Island, and the Bronx, and more than 51,000 have been returned to branches in Brooklyn. More importantly, people are coming back to the library, and Parrot says surprisingly, most people aren't returning books later than usual. I know that fines did contribute to the income of the library, but it sounds like you were looking at the bigger picture. Our mission is just to kind of, you know, inspire lifelong learning and strengthen communities and advance knowledge. Since the library did away with fines, about 30% of all newly returned patrons have been from high needs communities. Once that barrier is gone and there's a flood of materials come back, you realize that how much of a barrier it really was. Resources that are all available for free now, even if you're late. In Midtown Manhattan, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Just one caveat, you still have to pay the cost to replace a lost book, but the library tells us, as you heard, the late fines are gone for good.